Hey, hi, how are you? Fremont Lee here, views and opinions expressed in this video. Those are the person saying it. That's me, Fremont Lee. How are you? I hope all is well with you. I hope you're staying hydrated, getting plenty of rest, eating well, have clean clothes, staying, you know, have a place to stay, stuff like that. It is 8.30 a.m. on April 8th, 2021. Excuse me. Uh, I don't know. I was going to say something. I can't remember what. Hope all is well with you. Let's go with birthdays. April 7th, belated birthdays. Happy belated birthday. Going out to Jackie Chan, Russell Crowe, Francis Ford Coppola, Jennifer Schwalbach Smith, Clark Peters. Patricia Belcher, Patricia Belcher, Amber Sienna, Norman D. Golden II. He was the kid in the movie Cop and a Half with Burt Reynolds. Kirsten Baker, who played Terry in Friday the Thirteenth Part Two, 1981. She played other other. She was in other movies other than she. Hi, how are you? She had done other things also, but Kirsten Baker. Director Ted Kotcheff, K-O-T-C-H-E-F-F. -F. He was the director of Weekend of Birdies, 1989, and First Blood, 1982. He directed other things as well. Those are just two that I knew of and thought, hey, Bill Bellamy, Dennis, <clears throat> Dennis Hayden. He was in Die Hard, 1988. He's the one who answered the door, let uh, the cop in. Kind of a Huey Lewis looking guy with a Texas accent, kind of with the accent. Who ends up watching the baseball game? You might follow the run. Knock yourself out. Yeah. Oh, you know that guy. Um, Tracy Smith, who was in Bachelor Party, 1984, and Hot Dog, the movie, 1984. She had done other things other than that, but those are two that I remember her from. Elaine Miles, who was on Northern Exposure, the TV series. Terry Ann Lynn. I didn't write down what she was in, but she'd been in movies as well. <laughs> this is out of the top 100 of 1,314. To the fleet, James Garner, Wayne Rogers, producer Alan J. Pakula, P-A-K-U-L-A, R.G. Armstrong, Hugh O'Connor, Billy Holiday, Gordon K., Stan Winston, um, special effects makeup artist, I, I believe, I can't remember what, Stan Winston, trust me, Danny Wells, who played Luigi on the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, 1989. He was also the bartender on the Jeffersons, 1975 to 1985. He'd done other things. It's just those are two that I remember him from. Nikki Fritz, David Frost, and Bertie M. Hale, who was the Harlem woman in Die Hard with a Vengeance, 1995. I want to say that was the one that walks up to uh, John McClane, Bruce Willis, char the character John McClane, when he's got the sandwich board on that says whatever it said. Um, she was also the subway lady, the el elderly passenger in Coming to America, 1988, who uh, asks Eddie Murphy's character, are you really a prince? And he ends up giving her the diamond earrings or whatever that uh, he that he was going to give or that he wanted that he gave to what's her face, but she said, "No, I can't take." It. April eighth birthdays. Uh, this is out of order from the way it happened because it was like, "Ooh, he deserves to be up higher." Ooh, she's she deserves to be up higher. They all deserve to be up higher, but, you know, 
Bismarcky, Kane Hodder, John Schneider, Jack O'Halloran. He was non in Superman 2. He was also Amol Muzz in the movie, the Dan Aykroyd, Tom Hanks movie, Dragnet. Shit, spin, copper. <laughs> Did I say Robin Wright? The Princess Bride, Robin Wright. Katie Sackoff, Sung Kang, Kang, S U N G, K A N G. Uh, he was in Furious Six. He was the one eating the potato chips all the time and whatever. Tim Thomerson, Shecky Green, Patricia Arquette, Taylor Kitsch, Dean Norris. He was, uh, I think he was on. Uh, Breaking Bad, Stuart Pankin, he was in uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. He was the heavy set dad compared to Matt Frewer, who was the skinnier, scrawny looking dad with the cowboy, with the baseball cap and the vest. I could be wrong. May have been a sequel. May have been other stuff. I don't remember. It's been a while. Emma Caulfield Ford. Ana de la Reguera. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. My apologies if I didn't. Taran. Taran. Taran Nolan Smith. He was the young song on Home Improvement. J.R. Bourne. Joey D. Vieira. Julian Lennon, who deserved to be higher on the list, but you figure I didn't have any room after adding a bunch. Alan F. Nichols, and to the late, oh, this is out of the top 100 of 1,217, to the late John Gavin, Edward Mulher, he was on the TV show Knight Rider with David Hasselhoff, he was the one that was, yes, Michael, the, the, the British dude, he was in Out to Sea with Walter Matthau and Jack Lemmon, I want to say that was his last movie, Edward Mulher. Mary Pickford, Sonia Henney, Eric Porter, Alfie Bass, Pamela Gordon, who was Wyatt's mother in the movie Weird Science, 1985. It's your son. It's your son. I don't know who you're talking about. That was supposed to be the dad. Anyway, and Chris Kyle, American sniper, uh, producer, writer guy, who actually stuff. The last two nights have been great at work. I don't want to go back, though. Because she's going to be there tonight. How does someone talk to you condescendingly and like you're their best friend? You know, she's my supervisor. I get it. But... It's just songs we're on the same page. You learn that in some sort of... Be in a supervisor book? What? I don't know. I'm going to get it done when I get it done. Don't you know, fuck off. Hi, how are you? Uh, the other day I did. I didn't win the Fantasy Five, but I, I'd gotten two numbers. No, I'd gotten three numbers, but the, the it was for the double play. Three numbers get you ten dollars. I feel so fucking ripped off. But the double play pays double, and I had gotten the three on the double play, so that was twenty dollars. Sorry, my back itches, and it's just one of those things. <laughs> I am wearing the Marx Brothers, Groucho, Chico, Harpo. Chico, not Chico. It's pronounced Chico. 
he was named after the fact that he was chasing chicks, which was the expression at the time. Groucho got his nickname because uh, Groucho because he was serious. He was like oh, he was the serious one. Um, Harpo was named for the love for his love of playing the harp. Gummo, uh, because he wore gum sole shoes. And Seppo was named for I think he he mimicked a monkey named Zippo. So they named him Zeppo. I don't know why. It's <laughs> the fact that I remember it. I, I pass that knowledge on to you. If you didn't know it. If you did know it, hey, all right, cool. Hey, go ahead. <laughs> well, I'm going to go play on, fa on fantasy. I'm going to go play on... I know I should edit my book, finish editing it. I had all week last week I could have done it, but I didn't. Because it was like... Every day we worked later, and it was like seven seven thirty. We'd, we'd get out, and it'd be like, "Fuck, excuse me." But it's just one of those. It's like, "Oh, we should. We don't want to have a big load. We should be out by early." God, don't say that. Don't say that. Seven twenty four. You know. I mean, it's, it was, it's funny, but it's like, fuck, man. A uh, bunch of us helped out in Frozen, and by I say a bunch of us, I mean other people. <laughs> I got out there, I was like, uh, this shamrock looks full. I'll empty it. Here, you have one here that you can throw things to. So I emptied that, Lance, and I can't remember his name, Alex, I think. Um, they, they were emptying a couple of shamrocks that they had. So I was emptying that one. I'd, I'd come back out, and I'd be like, well, they don't need that, whatever. So I'd, I'd go back. I, I emptied, like, two that were back there. Lance came back with, a, a, with another one. Uh, cause you know, the end of the night, all the shamrocks come back, uh, to be put away, emptied and then put away stacked if, you know, cause some of them can still be stacked. Um, they're sort of like this. They're more rectangular than this. But at some point, somebody wrecks, hits him with the high low, so they end up like this, or the uh, the bolts, the nuts fall off the bolts that hold the wheels, or the, no, well yeah, sometimes the wheels. Uh, but there's like a piece of wood and wood, and they're held together with bolts, with the nuts and the bolts, uh, and it's. Like this, you got the two on the side, and then the two this way, um, and they're held together with the bolts, and then the wheels are here and here. But like I said, it's more rectangular um, than that. But it's like somebody leaves them out, wood gets hit by a high low, or a fork truck, whatever you want to call them, forklift. Um, so the wood breaks, deforms the, the thing, uh, the metal rods that are, that hold the shape of the rectangle for the top, which go down, that gets bent or broken. And then, you, you know, you end up with like the top that looks like this and some, sometimes they're folded in. 
or bent in, and sometimes it's just. Then you get the morons who go, I'm going to cut it so it's stretched farther and add more into the thing. Yeah. No, that doesn't work. They actually fall out the hole, and you know, you're an idiot. Then they end up with like a big tear on the side. And you go to throw some cardboard in, goes in and out the other hole. It's like, really? Are you... They don't actually say it like that. Like, <laughs> it's how I hear it. You know, when I look at it, it's like, you know, you see the slits in the side. Like, <laughs> you know, all, it's all I hear. It's like, it's mine. No, no, you're not. Doing that, you're not. I remember one guy that, that worked there for like a week. Uh, he would take his shamrock back, come out, find an empty one that somebody was using, and walk off with it. And and he'd use that. He he did that to me. I was working cheese one night. And I'm like, hey, that's mine. Don't, don't walk off with that. He's like, oh, but I need it. Use the one you were using. It's full. Empty it. Duh. I don't know if I actually said that or if I said, no, no, and then he walked off. In my head, I think that whole conversation happened. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. But it's been so long since that actually happened. But the fact that I still remember it, Yay! Oh, 17 minutes. <clears throat> I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're staying hydrated or had stayed hydrated. Um, I hope you're sleeping well. Not at the moment. You're watching this. If your birthday was April 7th, happy belated birthday. I'm sorry I missed it on the first run. So, hey, happy birthday. Party popper, party popper. Sparklers. If your birthday's today, April 8th, happy birthday! Noisemaker, 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 party popper, party popper, yay! I should get a couple of balloons and be like, hey, happy birthday! You know, and just whatever. But. Or one that says happy birthday, and it's just, you hear that, or write happy birthday on it and be like, hey, happy birthday! Be like that joke uh, from The Mask starring Jim Carrey. Oh, oh that's not wrong pocket. You know, he pulls out the balloon. But... Uh, well, I do thank you for watching. I do hope all is well with you. <laughs> Take care. God bless.